Hello everyone, bringing to you today a video compilation of retinal breaks as seen on indirect ophthalmoscopy. Before we go on to the videos, let's look at some basics. A retinal break refers to a full thickness defect in sensory retina which permits fluid derived from the synchytic liquid to gain access to the subretinal space, leading to separation of neurosensory retina from retinal pigment epithelial layer, which leads to retinal detachment. A retinal break can be horseshoe tear, hole, giant retinal tear, operculated tear, or retinal dialysis. When a retinal break is associated with vitreous traction, it is termed as retinal tear. It is also important to know that when we describe a retinal lesion, anterior means towards the ciliary body or aura and posterior towards the posterior pole that is towards disc and fovea. Also, the image seen through a convex 20 diopter lens used in indirect ophthalmoscopy is real, magnified and inverted vertically and horizontally. The location which I would be telling you will be on the basis of quadrant which I am examining. First lesion which I will discuss is a U-shaped tear also known as horseshoe tear or HST. It consists of a flap, its apex is pulled by the vitreous and the base remains attached to retina. Here is how it looks like. What you see here is a large inferior temporal horseshoe tear in right eye of the patient. This is the superior inferior nasal and temporal with respect to the patient. And this is superior inferior nasal and temporal with respect to the lesion. This is another horseshoe tear located superior temporally in right eye. As you can see, the area of the break appears red because of the color contrast between sensory retina and underlying choroid. This is a temporal horseshoe tear in left eye of the patient. This is a superior nasal horseshoe tear in the right eye. Let's talk about retinal holes now. Retinal holes may be atrophic holes which are more common in area of lattice degeneration or they may be round holes with opercula which are caused by vitreous traction. Let's first understand what are lattices and why holes are more commonly seen in the area of lattice. A lattice degeneration is a spindle shaped area of retinal thinning where there is discontinuity of internal limiting membrane with variable atrophy of underlying neurosensory retina. It is therefore a weak area which can develop holes. And also the vitreous overlying area of lattice is synchytic and the attachments around its margin are exaggerated. It is due to all these factors that it can predispose to a retinal detachment. This is how a lattice looks like. You can see wide network of sclerose vessel in the area.
here you can see multiple pigmented lattices. A single pigmented lattice located inferiorly. The pigmentation is due to hyperplasia of retinal pigment epithelium. This is a lattice which has developed an atrophic hole. This is the lattice with two large holes. Multiple lattices with multiple holes. A large hole developed in area of lattice. As you can notice in all these lesions, the area of break appears red because of color contrast between sensory retina and the underlying choroid. And then we have the giant retinal tear, which by definition involves three clock hours or more of retinal circumference that is 90 degree or more of retinal circumference. This is how it looks like. This is a temporal giant retinal tear in a young male post blunt trauma.